Great. In the previous video, we took cross-sections, the volume of areas of shapes who had cross-sections perpendicular to the x-axis. In this video, we're going to do ones that are perpendicular to the y-axis. So um, let's just go ahead and jump in and do an example. Find the volume of the solid whose base is bounded by the curve y equals 4 minus x squared, y equals 0, whose cross-sections taken perpendicular to the y-axis are semicircles this time. So we're going to go ahead and draw our figure, which would be similar to example 3. So it's going to look like that, and y equals 0. So it's going to be the same shape, but this time I'm perpendicular to the y-axis, so my cross-sections are going to go sideways instead. So my semicircles are actually going to come out this way instead. So setup is going to be similar. I'm still going to go A to B. Um, and actually, I'll just put C to D to change it up a little bit. And this time, instead of A of X, we'll have A of Y dy. All right, so my side trip is to figure out what that area is. We do have semicircles, so once again, it's going to be 1 half pi r squared. And when we figure this out, we're going to have 1 half pi. And remember, if I want to get this, so two things again from the previous video, we found out that this will give us the diameter, so I will just have to take half of that when I'm done. But to get this length right here, we're going to do the right side minus the left side since we're perpendicular to the y-axis. So the right side, notice it hits the curve 4 minus x squared from both sides. The biggest thing is my equation has to be in terms of y. So must be in terms of y. So we have y equals 4 minus x squared. So I'm going to solve this for x. So I'm going to subtract 4. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is multiply through by a negative. So I'll get um, negative y plus 4 equals x squared. And I just like to write that. So it's x squared equals 4 minus y, same thing. And then to get rid of the square, we'll take the square root. That will give me x equals plus or minus the square root of 4 minus y. So I put my equation in terms of y. So if I'm looking at the right minus the left, the right is going to be the positive square root, so it's going to be positive square root 4 minus y, and then minus the left side is going to be the negative square root, so it's going to be negative square root of 4 minus y squared. And then we also can't forget that we have to take this, because this was the whole diameter, we only want the radius, so we are going to have to divide it by 2. So cleaning that up just a little bit, I'll have 1 half pi. Um, that was minus the negative square root. That's going to change to plus. So actually, if I add those together, it's really going to be 2 square root of 4 minus y over 2 squared. And then if I wanted to clean it up from there, I actually am going to just a little bit, because these 2's will cancel each other out. So I'm just going to have the square root of 4 minus y squared. And actually, I'm going to go one step farther. You don't have to, but I just notice that I can, because the square root of the square, they just cancel each other out. So this is my area formula. However, you could have stopped way up here with that. That would have been totally fine. So we're going to have volume equals. Um, it's going to go from a y value to a y value. So notice it starts at y equals 0, and it goes up to where it hits the um, y-axis, which is at 4. So this is going to go from 0 to 4. And then my area formula that I found out was 1 half pi, 4 minus y, dy. And then from here, um, I'm set to take my integral, and I'm going to, again, let my calculator do it for me. So I'm going to use math 9, and I would encourage you to do that as well. We get 12.5 6, 6 as our volume. Alrighty, let's try one more. The base of a solid is bound by the circle x squared plus y squared equals 4. Find the volume of the solid whose cross sections perpendicular to the y-axis are squares. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and draw our figure. I know that x squared plus y squared equals 4 is a circle with radius 2. So I'm going to draw that first. It's going to look something like that. My cross sections are going to be perpendicular to the y-axis. So they are going to go this way. So that's going to be one of my cross sections. My cross sections are going to be square. So I'm going to have a bunch of squares sticking out at me on this one. The biggest thing is that I would need all of my equations in terms of y. So I'm going to, I think, just when I start, do that right now. So I have x squared plus y squared equals 4. I need to solve it for x because I need it to be in terms of y. So we're going to have x squared equals 4 minus y squared. And then if I solve for x, take the square root of both sides, I'll get x equals plus or minus the square root of 4 minus y squared. 
All right, now I'm going to come over here. I know my volume goes from C to D, and it really doesn't matter whether you use A and B or C and D. A of Y, DY this time. And then let's see here. I'm going to take my side trip, A of Y. The area is a square, so it's going to be side squared. To get the side, this time again, we're going to do right minus left. Okay, the right side is the positive square root, so it's going to be positive square root 4 minus y squared, minus the left side will be the negative square root, and then that whole thing needs to be squared. And then I think I'll clean it up just a little bit. These two would cancel each other out, so this plus this would be two of those and the whole quantity is still squared. And I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to try to simplify it any more than that. So I'm going to have volume equals. It needs to be a y value to a y value. So I'm going to start way down at negative 2, and I'm going to continue up till I get to 2. So negative 2 to 2. And then my um, area, I found out, was 2 square root of 4 minus y squared, quantity squared. And then my setup is all set, so from here, I can go ahead and use my Math 9 feature of my calculator once again. And when I do that, I will get 42.667. So hopefully now you can find the volume of uh, an object who has cross-sections perpendicular to the y-axis.